That's right. I just made a donation uh, three or four days ago, nine hundred dollars to the uh, legal society because because my spouse was next to me. I let her write the check. Cool. So, yeah, I got. They gave me seven tickets for leaving, leaving this. They they called it a hit and run. And um, I was on my way home after had grabbing a coffee, and I was in the right shoulder. And a man from another town moved his vehicle to the right and crashed into me. Just very, very minor. There was zero, almost zero damage to my truck. And we pulled over, we pulled up about 50, 60 feet over together. And I got out and looked at my truck because he hit me. And I right. thought, well, there's no damage to my truck. There's no damage to my truck. Thank God there's no damage to my truck. He ran into me. And I just asked him if he was all right, you know, dust yourself off. Are you sure you're okay? There's no damage to my truck. Uh, I'd like to settle this privately. Is everything okay? And he stood there mute. He was eating a sandwich. He was having breakfast. This was 6 o'clock in the morning. I got his tag number and left. But I should have spent more time with the man. Right. And got, and got so what he did was he, I called the cops and said, you hit him, and that's well, why they're charging you. At six o'clock in the morning, the 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 incident occurred. Uh, no, the incident occurred about six ten a.m. At six twenty-two, an officer was called back to the scene. So after I pulled away, he took a picture of my vehicle with his phone and called the police. Ten minutes later, they got me for leaving the scene of the accident. Right. And it was like it was like I'm riding on the shoulder of the road and I bump into Joe on his bicycle. I bend my fender a little bit, and I shake hands with Joe and say, you okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Very, very, very minor. Right. I thought I could handle it civilly or privately and left. An hour later, I'm driving into Philly, and I get a call from the officer on my cell phone. I'm in heavy traffic. I pull over, and he starts hitting me with a lot of questions, and I couldn't answer them. And he used the f bomb on me and said, "I'm done effing with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna file civil charges for obstructing justice." And he went to my residence, to my domicile, and handed my wife seven tickets while I'm in Camden working in Philly. He, and then, so my wife is she's gone ballistic because she's got these seven tickets. Right. Well, why'd they give them to her anyway? I mean. Well, because the officer went, the officer, because I was on the road on my way to Philly, the officer, uh, because the other driver gave him my tag number off of the back of my vehicle, and that's where they got the that. he located my where my domicile was. He came to the house and asked if I was here. My, my wife said, no, he's working. He's on his way to work. And so he asked my wife if she could reach me. So she called me on her cell phone and gave her cell phone to the officer, and he starts talking to me. Hmm. Mm. So, so he was cussing you out on your wife's phone. And my wife heard it, yeah. yeah. And then he said uh, in his report, because I, I, it was four days it took me to get a police report because I didn't know who was coming after me, who or what was pursuing me. Right. And uh, so I met with the attorney the other day, and I asked the attorney who or what, who is pursuing me, what's pursuing me. He said, state of New Jersey. But it's traffic court, and I don't understand how traffic court is played well enough. Uh, I don't know if you can do common law in traffic court. Maybe you can. Um, I'm sure Carl has. But, yeah, if you get a picture with the state of whoever it is, uh, make sure you post that everywhere. Get the man or the what? woman. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, yeah I, I never, you know, I, I, I understand. I don't. I don't know. State of New Jersey is Joe. State of New Jersey is going to take the stand. But yeah, this exactly. Is, this, this, yeah, this is um, this is uh, traffic court, and uh, you know, there's the prosecutor and uh, a woman judge, and I've got to go there Wednesday morning. So, oh, oh, there were seven tickets given to my wife. And we talked to the attorney, and the attorney says, they're, they're all kind of minor. He said, there's just one that's an issue, and that's leaving the scene of the accident. And I said, who is pursuing me? He said, state of New Jersey. Hmm. So 
And he said the officer may not appear, and the driver of the other vehicle has not been noticed. So the He's driver of the other vehicle either. hasn't been invited to court, and he could show up. And he could sue me, but he's, if he does sue me, it would be for the damages to his vehicle, which are right. minor. I didn't see a bill for a tow or anything like that. I mean, I'll work it out with my fellow man. I tried to, but I was uh, I erred in the fact that I did not spend more time at the scene. I wasn't. I should have been more relaxed and spent more time with the man and discussed more of what happened, so that we could have worked things out shook hands, and parted. But because of the way we're programmed, as soon as I pulled away, he got on the phone and called the police. Oh, yeah. Or or he called his spouse, he called his wife after the accident, and she may have said, you better call the police. That may be. Yeah. That's what it probably was. Because, because she owned the vehicle. It was an old Chrysler, 2002 uh, minivan Chrysler. It was registered in her name. And see, it took me four or five days before the accident report was completed. And after, and I called and it was completed, I went to the city police department, got a copy of the report, and then I was able to read what the officer wrote down. And then I was able to get the name of the other driver and uh, and what the officer was complaining about and, uh, you know, and all that. But he didn't put in there that he uh, used the F-bomb, my, my public servant. <laughs> he's not going to do that and make himself look bad for sure. Yeah, he didn't enter that in his report that he spoke in a uh, condescending way to his uh, master. Right. So did you ever try and contact the man that uh, that hit you? I I didn't. Yeah, you probably should do that. And, uh, you know, maybe you can work out something with him or his wife. And, uh, you know, if you go into court on whenever you're going on. It's Wednesday going, morning, this coming Wednesday. Yeah, maybe you can, you know, if you talk to him and you settle something with him, maybe you can just tell him in court and say, I already, you know, uh, um, settled with uh, the man on the private side. So I would just like to do that. I'm not sure how to go about it, but <clears throat> I'm sure there's a way to do that. If you get in touch with him, maybe you can come to some agreement. And go from yeah, there. because I mean, if you see, it's it's traffic court, and I don't know if you can. I think Carl will say I really dropped the ball and I waited too long, uh, but I didn't have information enough to go right down and meet with the prosecutor. And the prosecutor is in the town 